It's from Aesop's Fables. The wolf and the lamb. The wolf and the lamb. As a wolf was lapping at the head of a running brook, he spied a lamb daintily paddling its feet. His feet some distance down the stream. There's my supper, thought the wolf. But I'll have to find some excuse for attacking such a harmless creature. So he shouted down at the lamb, How dare you stir up the water I am drinking and make it muddy? But you must be mistaken, bleated the lamb. How can I be spoiling your water since it runs from you to me and not from me to you? Don't argue. Snapped the wolf, I know you. You're the one who's been saying those ugly things about me behind my back a year ago. Oh, sir, replied the lamb, trembling. A, a year ago, I was not even born. Well, snarled the wolf, if it was not you, then it was your father. And that amounts to the same thing. Besides, I'm not going to have you argue me, argue me out of my supper. Without a word, he fell upon the helpless lamb, then tore her to pieces. They changed her, him. Which is it, you son of a bitch? <laughs> and the application, the moral, the motto, the, the moral. And the moral of the story is, any excuse will serve a tyrant. Any excuse will serve a tyrant. Remember when George W. Bush said, we're going to go to war with Iraq, and why? Well, because he's got the damn weapons. He was responsible for 9-11. He's got a nuclear weapon. It's pointed right at us. He just attacked us on 9-11. Oh, none of that's true? Well, shit. Okay, so he, uh, the yellow cake, the, they funneled, the terrorist funneled the, yellow, the weapons through Iraq. He wasn't paying attention, so that's negligent. Well, the, the United Nations, we, we haven't let, he, he doesn't let the United Nations inspectors go in there. So, you know, there's, it's the United Nations inspectors, the, the WMDs, it's the weapons of mass destruction. We got to invade Iraq because of the weapons of mass destruction. No, not that one either. Okay. Uh, for freedom and democracy, how about that? Do, are we doing human rights, freedom and democracy? Yeah? Okay. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and invade Iraq for freedom, human rights, and democracy. In name only. Clearly, it's a tyrannical move for hegemony, for empire, to say that America can, you know, when it comes to third world nations, we're going to invade whoever the hell we want to invade. If you don't have a nuke in your third world country, well, we're allowed to invade you. And we still have the war on terror. The war goes on and on, my friend. 101 beers on the wall. 101 years of battle on the wall. I don't I don't know. So, yeah, that's a, a motherfucker who just wants to, you know, put their hands on you. Motherfucker will just, you know, come up with any goddamn fucking reason in the world, right? That poor lamb, that poor lamb. You know, how come you're muddying up my waters? You're fucking upstream, you piece of shit. Okay, okay, well, uh, you were talking, you know, all that shit about me. No, I wasn't. I wasn't even born then. Well, fuck. He's already, you know, negated me twice. Well, doesn't fucking matter. It's your damn father that was sitting there talking all that shit, so fuck you anyways. So it didn't matter. It did not matter to the fucking piece of shit, evil, wicked wolf. He was going to murder the damn lamb, even though the damn lamb didn't do shit to nobody. The damn lamb was pure and innocent, good and honest. It was angelic. So the devil devoured the angel. And that just suits a goddamn tyrant. And that's the word of the Lord. The lamb... The Wolf and the Lamb by Aesop, who was a slave back during ancient Greece times. Good old Aesop.